The Keeneland spotlight sits squarely on Shiza Julie this week, now a two-time grade one winner following her win in the Ogden Phipps at Belmont Park. And when her trainer Steve Asmussen saw her at the 2016 September sale, he knew he had to have her. Angle off. She put it all together in the Ogden Phipps and beat uh, grade one caliber mares. More than anything, um, with the pandemic altering the racing schedule, everything kind of came up on, in a surprise. We're not, we don't know if we're ever going to run. You know, by the way, we're going to run in a couple weeks, guys. So I think that the first race can be excused as in uh, just needed to get back into a rhythm. But she obviously came out of it good and uh, ran as good, if not better than ever, in the Ogden Pits. Point Pips. of Honor, Ollie's Candy trying to hold on. Here she's a Julie. Here's Point of Honor. The three of them hit the wire together. It looked like she's a Julie got her nose in front, but a photo finish. I thought Ricardo and his fa how familiar he is with her, he rode her to her ability. And, and I thought uh, how generous she was, how gritty she was. Ollie Skinny kicked away from at the head of the stretch. It didn't deter. She stayed in there in between horses and uh, stuck her nose out when it mattered. She's a very striking individual. Um, she may be a horse, but horses don't look like she does. She's just uh, the total package. You're looking at horses. Um, I definitely think that uh, she was a little later in the catalog, later than you would expect somebody with her pedigree. The individual that she was, she was consigned by Blanford, uh, a go dolphin bred horse, uh, immediately stood out that she was out of a, a daughter of Dubai Millennium, who um, when witnessed was one of the greatest racehorses that you ever watched run. And then she's physically imposing confirmation, everything that you want in a horse. Spoke with uh, Carol Castile of Whispering Oaks. Uh, and he's always looking for quality individuals, and uh, he was uh, more than game to purchase her. We planned on buying her, you know, at, at an auction. Sometimes you see horses you're willing to bid on, and every once in a while you come across one you just plan on buying. Carol was the perfect match uh, for this mare because sent him a couple pictures of her and he simply said he wanted her. Honestly, we were surprised at the number we got her at. I think that we've been very, she's been very consistent, very intelligent mare, probably the kindest racehorse I've ever trained. She is unbelievably sweet and she is named appropriately. She's very hardy. We've run her in against the best mares in the world and she does what she can and doesn't uh, get her feelings hurt by it and comes back and performs again. And a big congratulations on behalf of the entire team at Keeneland to the team of She's a Julie. We look forward to seeing them at the upcoming September sale as well as you. It gets underway on Sunday, September 13th.